with toddlers, navigating the ups and downs can be challenging, especially when it comes to food. I think when you're, you're trying to sustain yourself uh, every day and you're sleep deprived, we'll have fruit available, crackers, uh, but also uh, every now and then uh, a pouch. And when I'm in a rush, maybe I do the fruit pouches, yeah. Grocery stores have a wall of options, both convenient and seemingly healthy. These foods are specifically for convenience um, compared to the foods you might make at home. A new study looked at more than 600 infant and toddler foods in U.S. grocery stores, comparing them to recent World Health Organization advice for Europe. It found nearly two-thirds didn't meet nutritional requirements, with generally too much sugar and fat and not enough protein. But also virtually none met the WHO standards for the types of claims put on packages, which prohibits the use of terms like non-GMO or no artificial colors. Just because it has more claims does not mean it's a healthier product. And I think that's where a lot of consumers get stuck. To be clear, claims like no sugar added are accurate, but experts warn they can create a glow of healthiness. And we call that a halo effect, where they talk about some other positive attributes about their food so they don't have to talk about what I would call the negative or the high sugar level, for example. The study also found that those popular pouches had high levels of sugar. Experts say these pouches could also affect children's motor development. They don't know how to move their tongue or manage the textures, so they kind of just get stuck in that puree consistency. Keeping up with kids can be hard enough, and convenience can feel necessary. But experts say reducing how many of these snack foods kids get regularly can still help. Anand Ram, CBC News, Toronto.